everyone and welcome to a smash look at Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus. Franz here as always and this is a show where we take a first impressions look at new and upcoming titles. Today, like I said, we've got the Warhammer 40k Mechanicus which is due out next month I believe. It's developed by Bulwark Studios and published by Casido Games. It's where you take control of Adeptus Mechanicus. This is an early preview guys, I was granted a little bit of early look to it. As you can see here it's a sample of what's come including balancing, QA, polish and more. This is, I've been seeing some videos around of this and I've been like, I want my hands on this and finally been granted a little bit of access to it, so I'm very excited to be taking a look at this. This basically has every decision that you make will weigh very heavily on the outcome of every mission. It's a turn-based tactics game where it's slightly different from what you're probably used to in a 40k game. So we're going to be jumping in, having a little look at this and seeing what it's all about. Currently there's no settings, it does have a basic menu pop up before you start up the game and ask you to put in the resolution so on and so forth. Very basic, but right now the settings are not implemented. It kind of, you know, will link to your, same with the audio and everything, but I believe that's going to be put in and with that. But this is just sort of like a slice of the gameplay, so to speak. So we're going to go into a brand new game, so you guys can see. So you can see very much alpha build, sub should change, so please keep that in mind. The 41st millennium of dark of a time of darkness and war. The Imperial Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor, fights an endless war against Xenos from without, heretics from within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperium's war fleet served the Adeptus Mechanicus. Now, if there all, I will make sure the audio would be okay, but it may be a little bit loud here and there, depends because we can't quite tweak the audio. So we'll soon see. They are, tech, they are the tech priests of Mars, guardians of, and reclaimers of humanity's technology. Ever searching for remnants of knowledge from man's glorious past, exploring the depths of galaxy for worlds long lost to mankind. In the name of their machine god, they manufacture the Imperial War Machines within gigantic foundries known as the Forge Worlds. Gradually, the tech priests of the Deptus Mechanicus shed their human weaknesses, replacing their limbs with orga and organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. The leaders, the inscrutable Maggie, protect the Forge Worlds and explore the furthest corners of the galaxy with their cohorts of the Skitari troops. I'm really hoping I'm seeing all these names right because it's going to be a lot of lore from Warhammer going on in here. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. It is a time of warfare, tragedy, and portents of doom across the benighted galaxy. Adeptus Mechanicus are one of mankind's last defenses against a new dark age. Or perhaps they will be the ones to hasten its dawn. But like I said, everything you're going to be doing here is going to be having direct impact on anything that you do in the missions, the outcome of the missions, so on and so forth. So I'm very excited, to, like I said, because I've been seeing this and I'm like, I want this. Oh, oh, hello. These little guys are always quite fun. I remember these from Dawn of War, actually. Um, you would send them out and they'd be like little scouting skulls. So let us click. Oh, dear. Well. I'm liking that. Quite freaky though. It is actually quite freaky. Four months later. <laughs> so yes, four months later everything went uh, to hell. Accessing Magnus Rasak last log. Oh. Whoever finds a transmission and follows me here, give thanks to Thanks that you will see what I have seen, but beware, my fellow seekers of knowledge, whatever lies beneath this world, I fear, I hope, I have woken it. I came to this world to investigate its ruins, but I have found so much more terrors. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Let us begin. So it seems to be, we're not getting any, you're getting obviously the sort of subtitle things and everything, but we're not getting any English voiceover. 
which is a given, of course. Your assertion equals false. If objection concerns offence, go to a different mission. Because your knowledge of spiritual matters and occult mechanics will be crucial in dealing with any more threats at on Silver Tenebris. Don't even know if I'm saying half of these right. Alright. Like I said, guys, this is a very much a, a slice of the gameplay and everything, and things could be subject to change. Developers are looking for feedback as well, so please do keep that in mind. I will leave the Steam link down below, like I said, to, so you can access it and provide feedback, or keep an eye on the development or anything like that. I love how this is all these pure, big, burly machine and this little tiny skull. <laughs> <laughs> you will not find me wanting. I do not expect to. I trained you myself. Sinking with Cassius McCallican, requesting warp travel state. Ooh, this is nice. Novus Nova will not be pleased. We've found we've lost five navigators in state. Oh god. Uh, lots of little bits of information. It's not just all random either. It's like it's actually to do with what's going on there, which is pretty cool like that as well. It's a very epic music going on though. Definitely uh, liking that and visually this looks nice. This looks very nice actually. Developers are very keeping very close to the source work. Which is obviously nice to see, especially when it comes to Warhammer. I find that some people just do, it's like, right, we'll take a basic marine, we'll just take it completely out of context and we'll do what we want. Whereas this is very different. There she is, temperate, climate, atmosphere, standard, breathable. My Kaskari troops should be able to operate down there without trouble. Are they ready to make landfall? As soon as we are in stable orbit. Oh, hello, Mr. Skull Person. How about you? You do not relish this mission, Subdonis Capra. I, I, I ascertain this from your pupil dilation and nervous system stress levels. <laughs> Even in victory, the men and women on the ground suffer, but that is not something imagined troubles a magos. Some type priests choose to excise the emotional centers of the brains, especially when they reach the rank of magos. I did not. The thing you should know is these are not normal beings anymore. They are very much they very much excelled in everything. They're highly intelligent. The although they like I said, it's, it sounds like it's just like I don't want to be sad today. I'm just gonna put it away. <laughs> I'll take that as a good omen. Uh, wow, Magos stable orbit achieved and maintained. All right, my thanks, Quartermaster. I would remain in geosynchronous orbit for the duration of this mission. Fuel reserves calculated. Continuous orbit probable, but not certain. Additional fuel acquisition recommended. Administratium rec records indicate a single colony on the surface near the Xenos ruins. No contact recorded in two centuries. Colony presumed failed. The carrier will deploy to the surface near the ruins along with the team of tech priests under my direct command. I shall monitor them for the command thrown on board. Several skill radius will serve as my eyes on the surface once we make landfall. Right, let's begin. Auto report routines added to Tech Priest's internal coordinators. All right. So let the hunt commence. All right, so set to locate a delicate Xenos tomb, rubble littering in the corner of every room. 
Dark shadows are cast over cracked slabs of tarnished metal by crumbling. Almost feels like you're reading a bit of brook. You're getting lots of sort of intricate little bit details here. Signs of light sources can be found, but are often broken and rarely connected to a power source to be able to illuminate the dark. Smell of ages past, fungal spores and dust hit the cohorts that enter new rooms as they pry open tomb doors that no longer serve their purpose. Okay, let us see. Going by our fragmentary information, it looks like a buried tomb structure. Then the sword of the Masia is ready to fall. We deploy immediately. It's gonna like drop something from the, the ship or something, or is it we're just gonna appear in the ground? Oh, hello. What's this? All right, we've got a bit of a board here. This looks like empty. Explorer unit of the tech priest is inside the tomb and ready to proceed, Magus. There is no telling what we'll find. My men will hold the perimeter in case of unexpected. And we follow to commit our whole manpower to the unknown, especially when the potential of a moral threat exists that the Sakari are less than able to withstand. I have the greatest respect for Mr. Kikari, but they are still far from the ascension that a tech priest affords. I agree. Subdonus, I shall lead the mission in person from the command throne. Several skeletons which shall be my eyes and ears on the ground, and Masha will be praised. Be praised, we are going in. Alright. The threshold. Welcome to Exploration Overview. This is a projection of the tomb our tech priests are sending us to. You decide the direction of expedition forces from here. Okay. To look around, uh, you use that, and then when you're ready, okay, so you look around, oh, nice. So you can get a sort of overall somewhat idea of everything. Can you zoom in and out or anything? Okay. Got a little bit over here. Oh, there's lots of stuff over here, seems. Lots and lots of stuff over there. Can we click these guys? Looks like we can click these guys in some form. Can we click? Do that, evacuate. I don't think we want to evacuate, do we? Right, it doesn't see. Does Satan Venny come up there? No, it's definitely gone. Do we. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. I have explored, I've looked around. I mean, it did say hit the left mouse button, but then nothing else is kind of coming up, unfortunately. Is there any way to... Do you really want to... to this will finish mission cannot be undone. Uh, we really want to kind of get this going. I'm just going to quickly... Oh, there we go. Okay, then. Interesting. There's Xeno Hylogryphs. I know of them. Uh, they are... Me, my undoers, Necron's mysterious ill research corruptive. This could be a rare sample of Necron language, Magos. We have barely any knowledge of it. Collecting data from this obelisk could mo move our understanding language ahead for the first time in centuries. Alright. Oh, okay. So sometimes step trees will feed back important information about what they encounter in room. These situations will require you, our commander, to make decisions. There will be consequences to choose wisely. So ahead is an obelisk like object covered in what can be described as hieroglyphic symbols. It almost reaches a tall ceiling and chamber. Scrutinize, examine the inscriptions of the secure, check the surrounding chambers for potential damage, uh, destroy the obelisk at the bottom. Uh, let's go scrutinize. Right. We're detecting a massive energy spike from inside the tomb. Something's happening here. Something huge. Uh oh. Oh, we got some. We got some data. As one of the tech kneels to get a closer look at the obelisk, it seems to react to the cohort's presence. The obelisk splits open and a powerful, painful wave of exotic energy spills out. The tech is hissed by the full force of the radiation and suffers immediately from the effects. Oh. Oh dear. Sorry. Didn't mean to get you hurt. Very interesting sort of difference thing, because I know it's turn based, but it's got a oh hello, Necrons. Red holographic enemies within a room show the potential of a fight if you were to enter. Valid. However, this is not always guarantees or data and enemy creations is not hundred percent accurate. Right, so Necrons. Red did encounter them after all, no wonder he didn't make it off the this planet. Every dat datum we have says they are as deadly as they are inhuman. 
All right, so core encounters resistance to form Xenos constructs, not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision and cordon. Follow the established combat and engagement protocols that shall be done by the book. Exercise Extreme Con, do not charge to, in too hastily, lest the trickery of the enemy or be withdrawn. Crusade, the aggressive stance of Tech Priest ensure they will not be outmaneuvered, but the rest are running headlong into the fire of enemy. Let's go with caution. Fight. So now we're going to be able to see a bit of the combat though. So there's a lot of setup there and everything, but now we can see a bit of this. So we get some warriors kill all the enemies. So we got up here, and assuming this is what they are going to come in the order and everything. So this is a battle arena view. Using the power of the no sphere, you'll control your cohorts of deadly adeptus, adeptus mechanicus units while you set safely in the orbit. <laughs> so yes, you're up there. There's this. All right, so at the start of every fight, you must decide the location of units in the battlefield. Okay, you can only place units on the highlighted squares. Alrighty. So wait, do we only have like one and two? Okay, so what if we put you over there and we put you here? Seems to be we literally only have two. Huh. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's start the battle. Oh, okay, so you can zoom right in. Uh oh. Ow. Hey! Literally just started and he's already picking on me. Alright, so to move a unit, left button click there anywhere within the blue sort of outlining surrounding area. Then click to tick to confirm the movement. Uh let's move you to here. What have we got here? You've just moved your tech priest to a source of cognition points. There are several ways to collect CP. The fastest way is moving your tech priest close to the source of the CP. There we go. Cognition points are stored at the bottom of the screen, so you can see down here. And CP are shared team resources to plan ahead. Uh, attach the service to an entity. This is your server skull. Every text piece has their own server skull. Server skulls are very helpful in combat and cognition CP collection. Sele select an enemy to find out about its battle statistics. Hello. So he's got three health points. He's got the. I'm assuming the blue is their, like, armor. Reveal the life of the enemy. Knowing your enemy will greatly increase your chances of success. Service skulls reveal health points, physical armor, and energy armor sets. You can then decide what weapon types will work best in the. Defeating this vile creature. Hold down spacebar to enter the nosphispheric view. This is how Tech Priest view reality. You'll be able to see all known bat statistics. Oh. Interesting. If I was to fire a shot at you, would that work? Excellent. You had free damage. Oh, and you can collect a CP point. Killing those is as simple as other Xenotrees. Necrons are made of self repairing metal that is able to knit together dismembered limbs and gaping wounds. We call them reanimation protocols. Oh god. When Necrons in their reanimation protocol, they're unable to fight but will return to fighting conditions soon. The speed at which a Necron returns to life is based on multiple factors. Well, that's not too great. Dealing any amount of damage to Necron in this state will destroy them indefinitely. Oh, okay, so if we then you know, went up and hit them. Right. Want to end turn on you? So you can see here this sort of yellowish orange background or light outline is basically going to use one of these, which we kind of don't want it to do. We want to bring this up. You know, it's got an axe here just now. Can you fire? No. That would give us that. So. You're just about to move your cognition movement. This happens when you move within the orange movement line. Yes. Confirm the movement will use the cognition CP point but allows the tech priest to move you further. Yes. Because we are here. We can get that. And then... Not getting up! Necron just attacked has been teleported away to somewhere far beyond our reach. In battle terms, this means we've killed the target. <laughs> I think we can now end our turn there. He's gonna fire. Through pain, I find wisdom. I'm liking this sort of look though. This is very, very nicely done. At the start of every new turn, there's a data acquisition phase. This phase is when cognition points are to replenish a, new, a Necron cognition reserves. Oh, okay. 
So you'll be able to call in other members of the Korra as the battle goes. This will happen at the start of every turn. Ah, okay. If I was to call in you, you, you. Oh, you can only call in one at a time. Okay. In Mechanicus, there are two types of units to control. Tech Priests, the two units you've already commanded, or troops, such as the ones you've just deployed onto the battlefield. Troops are your servants and cannon fodder. They don't have access to many weapons or abilities at Tech Priests, however, they're useful and should be not be overlooked. So, yes, your cannon fodder. Go forward. Literally has an arm vice. That's it. You select a weapon that is not in range of any target. Look for the weapons icon to appear in desired target, then show that... Show them the power of the Messiah. Right. Dead scan. Collect the coordination point when hit by Necron. Come down here. So it seems to be the automatically take this and you're like using a sort of an action point to collect that, which is nice. It's nice. I'm gonna move you to here. And we'll end our turn. So you've gathered enough coordination points to be able to use your phosphorus circuit. Tenta. Huh? Some weapons like the Phosphor Subtenta require coordination points to use. Look to the right of each weapon to ability to learn the CP cost of the action. Uh, this one? No, this one? That requires two? Wow. Alright, well, let's find out. Jesus. The shot sooner is destined to zeros. No threat remaining. Alright, and it seems to automatically come out. Okay. So it seems to me you've got this overarching sort of almost like not point and click per se. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of those books. You, you're reading through them and you pick your actions and that determines where you go. In a way. So there we go. Once the fight is over, you return to exploration view. Keep in mind the health of your cohorts. This will define the risk you can take for looking forward. So you can see here their health it remains as that. So let's all head forward. Anything in here? Nope. Let's head forward again. Alright, so it looks like we've got something in here, but wait, so what have we got here? Coffins, burial place, destruction, purpose, destination, tomb. Alright, so in the chambers ahead are several groups of structures like upfront coffins of unknown material. Assure you observe your surroundings carefully, detailed pick grabs and readings may keep be key to success. Make sure to destroy, ignore, let's go intrigue. Get some goodies there, excellent. They're waking up, ah, uh, wonderful. Let's carry on. Oh no, that didn't seem to start a fight, okay. Might have some bad guys in here? Yes, there we go, all right. After exploring the chamber for several minutes, a tile underfoot clicks. The sound of whirling energy builds up around your troops. A quick omnispec cat scan reveals you're surrounded on all sides. Well, I guess we can fight and see what happens. But I'm definitely like it because it's almost taking like a, several different mechanics put them together, and it seems to be working quite seamlessly, quite nicely. And the the actual I don't know whether to say it's like visualness um, and everything, and the overall character are pretty brilliant. I'm going to set him right there so he can get that, and I'm going to send him there. I'm going to start this battle. Right, therefore. You, collect that. Give us four. Nice. I mean, shooting at that is not really... He's out of range at the moment. Um, let's send one of these over to there. Right, so three health, one. All right. Excellent. You will move you forward. And end your turn. Ow. Do you mind? Come up there and hit you an axe. They have quite a bit of range. That is quite insane. Alright. I am interested in what you actually use this data for, though. I'm assuming upgrades in some form. Uh, let's see. That could be used on that and just automatically kill it. I mean, that's going to use one cognition, but then we'll get one back from this, so... We can use this on that. Make sure it's not coming back to play. End our turn. Excuse me? What the hell? Oh, you can come right down. Ooh. Did not know you could come right down like that, and it kind of brings it down very nicely. 
All right, so I'm going to deploy you there. Deploy you there. Oh, it's just oh, you can only deploy one at a time. So we'll deploy you. All right. So when an enemy moves out of melee range, providing you providing your unit has a melee weapon, the enemy will trigger an opportunity attack. An opportunity attack gives your unit to a free melee attack on an enemy. Each unit can only perform an, one opportunity attack per round. Please do that. Nice. You've not revealed the life of this enemy yet. As a result, the amount of damage dealt is unknown. Several skills, specialized weapons, and other abilities reveal the enemy of life. It's very nice looking there. So I don't like the fact that like when you zoom in down, though, and it kind of starts blurring when you're moving around like you do that. A little bit headache inducing. Don't like that. But I'm hoping that they'll look to changing that. So he doesn't look like he can do much down here. But yeah, there's a lot of blur. Which I'm hoping you should be able to change. Nope. Uh, do this. So you get... Wait, did they give you extra health? It looks like they might have. Can he... No, they're out of range. I win your turn. We'll then move you forward. The music is really, really good in this, so... Let's try and do a couple of shots on you. Well, that was a critical. That was a nice shot there, actually. I think he may actually end up dead. Yep. We get a cognition for it. So when servitors are hit by enemy weapons, they, they instantly digitize the damage. Uh, let's have a wee look here. And received in combat information that can be used against the enemy. Oh. This represents you gaining a cognition point. Servitors are very useful units. So basically, when they die, they give you information. Huh. When you enter melee combat in any adjacent square to an enemy, you're unable to use your ranged weapons as they're too gen ge dangerous. I almost said too generous. Alright, so. We can use that on you. Oh, there we go. You're dead now. Thank you. And they automatically seem to go away. And then use that. Let's see. Excellent, we can now see some information on you. I mean, you could actually fire at him. There we go. End our turn. What? Acid? Excuse me? Oh, okay, fair enough. What are you going to do? Oh, that's got its power thing back now. wonder if you could just place him there then. Doesn't Ow. Do you mind? Right, so what I want to do is I want to move you down here. Can you collect that at all? No. No. Well, that's a lesson learned. So definitely it's only these guys that seem to be able to collect it. You can't really do anything right now while you're there. But I feel like you should move here. And use a gun on that so it doesn't get back up. And we're in return. Acid deals damage at the end of the unit's turn. It's not great, but... Anywhere else we can go here? No. I'm hoping you get some sort of healing function, because otherwise we're a bit screwed. Careful, you're about to anger the machine spirit of this weapon. What? All weapons have a sacred machine spirit that we must respect. Machine spirits can become angered. When a machine spirit is angered, there's a chance a weapon may not follow your unit's direct commands. Each weapon's machine it will anger at a different rate. This is shown underneath the weapons icon when the select weapon. You'll be able to show the you'll be shown the possible outcome. To use at your own risk. So it's like this here. Okay. Machine Spirit enabled, 20% chance to cancel attack, 40% chance to deal minimal damage. I'm just going to end my turn then. Ow. And what are you going to do? Bring you down and end her turn. Yep, let's see what you're like. <laughs> Smack. They're pretty powerful melee actually, they are really very powerful. There we go. What is this? Reinforcements. That us? I think that's us. Nope. We have more scarabs about to come out, it looks like. Oh, no threat. Okay. 
Nice. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this. Like, this unit is almost like, instead of this having a unit that goes down, it dies. The unit goes down. If it dies, it then gives you, it can give you information on the enemy. You've got these sort of things. That you, if you don't know, if you haven't, like, revealed the enemy properly, then you do less damage and so on and so forth. Very nice. Very nice. Let's move on to here. I'm hoping that we'll be able to show you how this, like, affects the game. Because I'm guessing it's some sort of upgrading. Alright, what do we got here? Symbol represents a location of significant importance to your mission. Entering these rooms brings you closer to the end of the mission. Negative signs of hostile forces seeking permission to proceed with data collection protocols. Confirmed permission authorized. Acknowledge, my God's protocol begins. What is primary focus? Knowledge of Necron forces, numbers, defenses, locations, any form of data on how many remain on this rock. Secondary source the purpose of this tomb. Why was it built? All but eroded. There is one device that may hold answers, but the Necron data looms are incomprehensible to Imperium ar Architect. Archaeotech? This might take a while. If you, if I may take host of this priest, I could be assistance approved. Hard to decide for purpose. List of suggestions. Deconstruct device. Activate switch. Learn Necron language and la return later. What will it be? Always so meticulous with your lists. Alright. Disconnect it once. We have an unfavorable thing to do, uh, deal with here. As tech acquisitors uh, left suddenly, my coordinators glitch augmentations entered sporadic reaction protocols and have fried vital sign regulatories. Unclear field damage report. Necron device is now activated. Oh dear. The tomb is waking, sire. Reports from the Skikari out, uh, cohorts across the planet note that tremors vex their locals. We've lost contact with Skikari the way that we're covering the entrance to this tomb. We can hear noises of approaching forces out there. Improved protection protocols, load weapons ready for what is to come. We must face the Xenos. So you have so many mechanics, like we saw there, the machine spirit of the machines. Like That is a very much a random fact of the game that you will have to... You'll die swift, essentially. I wake with the turning of eons, starts, stars yet to burn, life yet blossoms. It is truly time. Oh, hello there. I, I don't even know how to say that. It seems there is mute constructs are not the only inhabited, inhabitants of this structure. What is this? Flesh and steel combined, a mockery of both. That every fruit step of blasphemy. What a manner of galaxy is this into which I have awoken? Principal Xenos war form cited exotic energy signatures past sensor range designate Xenos and abomin high value target confirmed the hunt is on oh dear what are your orders not die uh, the cohorts reach a large chamber beneath the first layer of the Xenos room bridges stretch and uh, stand ground capture contain the Xenos and return into intact so we can advise uh, stand ground annihilate the Xenos fill for righteous fury uh, capture. Insects! The galaxy is infested with insects. Let's see. This may not go too well in our favor. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Alright. Survive six right. Oh, uh, okay. Sure. Uh, we got that there. We got you here. We've got you up here. Uh, yeah, we've got, we've got one over there. I'm going to put you here. Nope. Alrighty. Oh, what? Well, are you seriously going to get... Ow. Seriously? Uh, where are you? Where is that? Oh, hi. You seem friendly. I have apparently went inside the crust of the earth. Oh god. Right. We do have some of these and I've noticed they kind of come from the game there actually. Uh, let's bring you down here.
We'll then launch that at you. And it seems our gun is nice and handy, so we'll fire. Free damage, nice. Okay. Right, that's that one done. We're going to end our turn there. We're then going to move you down and take you all the way down there. What we're going to try to do is back ourselves down in here and try and take them as they come to us. Can I hit you? Out of range. But I can shoot you. That pretty much vaporized him. You killed a Necron, you were critically hit. When you critically kill a Necron, they're unable to activate their reanimation protocols. They're instantly port where are the ported. Nice. There you go. So I can see that. Okay. Turn. I sailed the void for a thousand years. I fought the war in heaven. Uh, what can you do to strike fear in one such as I? Uh, run away. Oh dear. Wait a minute. What? Oh, right. I was kind of curious. Like, What's going on? They will automatically take that from that. I am going to place you there. Try and, like, I don't know, distract them. Unless he shoots at you. Uh, move you behind here. In turn. Move you here. In turn. Music is bloody brilliant, by the way. It's like, how do these wretched things stand before the void of admirals? Something. I can't see their names anymore. Hello. Uh, 14 da- Okay, that's quite a lot of damage. Let's turn for a little bit. Could actually take you up to here. Grab that. I'm going to use that on you. 40 life? Wow. Okay then. That range. You get up here. We don't have eyes, do we? No. Alright. When my fleet seals once more, vermin like you shall be strung from my pro. It's his turn now. Let's find out what he does. Oh, wait, no, it's not reinforcement. Get that. And we shall put this here. He's going to shoot at him, though. I'm wondering, like, how you managed to... <sighs> right, let's see. Can get shot off on you. Still at range. Okay, and turn. I can do it to you though. Ninety night. <laughs> right. So what we want to do is send that over there as well, so we can see who you are. All right. How many more turns have we got to go? I don't know what turn we are on. New round. Do not ch think to challenge us, we who killed our gods. Oh, you seem friendly. 
It's a new round for you guys. If we could just bring you here. Back to here. Give us one of them. There we go. I'm gonna end your turn. Feel like if we went over here, it should be okay. He seems to be sitting in the middle and just waiting on us, so we might be okay in that sense. I'm gonna end our turn, let it rest a little bit. It's almost like a reload function, but you're not actually reloading. It's more like you can take the chance, but it could backfire. Can you hear the trembling of the stars? Can you feel the whole galaxy terrors? Terrors, should I say? Are you gonna come at me? You're just gonna. Okay, Xenos contained. Well, at least we survived and didn't die, so that was worth it. Kind of like, you know, worth the thing. So it's the core it's success to survive the Xenos life forms. Alright, so what do we got here? Report. Well, we got the squad out alive, Magos. They ha uh, that has to count as a victory under the circumstances. We countered a Necron war form of cap capability well beyond our expectations. Yes, I do not need to hold my emotional engrams. However, one battle one is not a success. We will eventually face losses in this mission. When this happens, we must press on beyond our failures to reach success. There's something else. Uh oh. Reanimation. The Necrons are waking up. It started when Risk stumbled upon his tomb, but our arrival was accelerating the process. That obelisk may have been a form of intruder alarm, and now the, the Sacropaki in the tomb are starting to open. There is no longer enjoy the luxury of time. Whatever we do in Silver Tanabris, we, it must be done before the Necrons awaken completely. We do not even know yet how far the tomb complex extends. We are under the gun then, and must preserve us if our duty is ever easy. I return sorrow and despair from my emotional cords, but I see they lack the logic to determine decision making. Instead, I chose to quarantine them and adjust their approach. The word of the Omissiah teaches us that when one myth fails, another must be sought until all are exhausted. And what are your orders? Skikari will explore the tomb chamber by chamber and maintain a foothold. My tech priest will be deployed to achieve crucial objectives and respond to crises. Time may be factor, but our mission can be only be achieved with the thoroughness of a full deployment. I shall mobilize Sukari. Redux forms of Necrons really never observed potential of intelligence and Necrons added to some total of human knowledge, focused on acquiring artifacts intelligence data. Hold your blasphemous tongue. Your cons counsel the abandonment of our very souls. Life or Kinda, I feel like obviously the, the the amount of dialogue that's going on. There's going to be a lot of dialogue, so you don't even need to kind of you know take that into account. There is some words where it's a, you know these are robots, so there's like almost like broken language as well, which is nice little touch. It's a nice little touch. Better than ignorance and heresy. I return with frustration at your conflict and chose to experience it. There will be bloodshed enough on. Silva Tenabris without the Magi coming to blows. In our purpose, we are united. This will be the will of the Messiah. And it shall be done. Okay. Now I'm hoping. There we go, right. Man's reasons for tombs are troubling. The Skikari have been monitoring the structure we've uncovered, and what they have found gives me grave concern. Explain. The Necron contract forms are waking up. It seems Magos was accidentally began the process and intrusion and destruction hastened it. These Necrons reanimation protocols are continuing the tomb we entered, and from the energy spikes across the region, there are other structures yet to be uncovered. Oh, that just seems wonderful. We'll locate these structures and contain the contracts within. There may not be enough, Magos. I've detected a repeating pattern in reanimation protocols, and the rate of Necrons are awaking, they're speeding up. This is going to be not good for us. Necrons are machines. Machines act according to patterns and programs. If the reanimation protocols continue to accelerate, they will be fully awake in every Necron on this planet in 264 hours. Very precise, sir. Given the extent of the buried structure, that will constitute a Necron army beyond this mission's capability to contain. And our term here is limited. Time is approximately 30 full scale tech priest deployments and support. I will send Skikari scouting parties to, to discover other tombs and create forward positions for high priority missions. 
All right. Look at the top left corner of the screen. So actions before awakening. Uh, this is the number of missions to take part in before the final mission. Ah, okay. So preview build. As this is a preview build, you're not going. You're going to experience two levels from the mid game, so you can access some cool gear and exciting enemies missions. This is why this figure is 15. So now I feel that you're right. So you can see we're going to get some some advanced stuff, so you guys can see a good in depth of what is available or what will be available. And obviously, bear in mind it's an alpha build. I feel a uh, few. Uh, Feel fear too. This is part of my humanity I've chosen to retain, but I can I can quarantine it in my neural vaults and choose instead to focus on what must be done. Further deployments to uncover the tombs and destroy the threats inside. It will not be easy. The Messiah did not send us here to do anything easy. The threat to humanity present on this world will be eliminated or we shall not leave. Thus the equation is balanced. It will be the will of machine god. Sector located. Nice. Alright. Welcome to the Catius Mata, an Arc Mechanicus class battleship. This class of ship is one of the largest in Imperium and only afforded to the Adaptus Mechanicus. From here you'll be able to customise your tech piece and prepare for the mission ahead. We can select missions from the character portraits on the left screen. Before we go on a mission we should inspect and equip our tech piece. Head over to the cohort tab. Alright, so we have up here, let's find this. Ooh. Wait, can I take these guys? Welcome to the Cohort Quarters. Here you can see all the available tech priests and troop units currently unlocked. Troop units are shown in the top of, top of the screen here. You can see what ability each troop has available. Tech priests are shown in the bottom six slots. Select the tech priest to begin con con customization. Look at this. I want you. Give me you. Can I have you? Can I have you? Or you? Oh, nice. Alright, so we got these guys down here. So let's click you first of all and have a little look. Welcome to Tech Priest customization screen. This is vast. This is nice. There are many ways to customize the Tech Priest. You can change your weapons, body augments, backpack upgrades, and more. Nice. Preview build. We've made pre-made six different Tech Priests, so you can jump straight into the game. However, you can create your own Tech Priest and experiment. You can upgrade Tech Priest disciplines. Head to the discipline button near the Tech Priest portrait. So we got here, just having a wee look at this just now though, we can see some some stuff has information, some does, doesn't have information, we got a lot of weaponry here, so, which is very nice to see. Can we not, can we take that and place that in? Put it here. No. What if I take, how do you take it off? Right click? Yes. What if I was to... So yeah, it does seem to be that these cost to add on. I love how that's called the the macro stubber. And um, we've got the some stuff here. These are support weaponry. All right, so you can add that on. Or you can add that on. Unit gains plus two damage. Ah, so these are support, which is all these things. I love how you can just remove his head. So yes, I will just remove your head. Don't you mind. Don't you worry. Put that up there. So we've got spotlight. You got that. Heals free health points. Actually, that would be a really nice thing to have. Which can't seem to add. Oh wait. Ah, oh, it has a capacity. Ah, okay. Fair enough. I've removed his head. Can I have a head back? It'd be really nice if we could have his head back. Oh dear. Whoops. Let's go to Disciplines and ignore the fact that he's missing his mask. This is a Discipline screen. As your Tech Priest level up, you'll gain experience points to spend on Discipline Tree. Each Discipline is focused on a different playstyle. Having a diverse team is advised, however the choice is all yours. Tech Priests can be multi multi-disciplined, meaning they can learn skills from more than one. So you can see here, there is quite a bit of stuff here. Machine Spirit does only critical hits. And you can unlock unique armor part between one and four available. Ah, nice, very nice. You can increase that, so points to spend, so... Call a trip reinforcement. Nope. And we could choose that. We could then choose that. Ah, okay. Did that actually, does it unlock stuff that you can see then or do you, so he's just kind of got that there. 
you have to repair them at times okay you get a little bit of log of like how many they've killed and so on and so forth i feel like we should add something eradication ray hmm. nice nice right so if we go back here you can then go back to any one of them is this the one we were playing with yes this is the one we were playing with and removed his head but it doesn't seem like you can click on that. It might just be that some stuff is just hidden away. Oh, that's different. Put you. Oh, there's a way down there. It's like way hidden down here. Oh, there, there we go. Put that on you. No. Put this. Ah, okay, so it's a total of eight for him. So we take that away, add that. Oh my, oh, okay. Take that off, put that on you. Okay then. Nothing we can put on that yet, but we could put that there. There we go. I have done him up. Yay. Okay, let's see if we jump into you. You can go into disciplines and just unlock whatever. We'll be able to when they're in melee range. Uh, what's this? Machine. What's this? Coordinates gained on kill. She's attacked priest damage by two until the next turn. Should she restore two health and all attack priests are on troops. And we'll give you this. Do that and we'll give you that. We'll do this and give you that. And give you that. Right, so he's got all that there. So he does actually unlock all this discipline stuff here. So we can actually uh, we can give you a head. How do you, uh, that is locked at the moment. So we take that away and give you that. Give you that. And this, no, you've got, you have too many things on you. you take that away though and we can then add that though. Which I think would probably be the better thing we can do that and then add that. All right, excellent. Some nice stuff going on here, some nice stuff actually. We've got a, quite a range of weapons, so I'm going to actually just start the mission so you guys can see. Te uh, tend upon me, Magus, a blow can be struck against the black. New deployment available. Let's launch the mission. Here we choose the type of recent troops to take on the mission. Use left mouse button to add the unit and transport user to remove the unit. Oh, okay. We take them all. Hey, oh, so you actually have to buy them. Uh, Vanguard, uh, this costs 700. Do I have enough? Yes, we do. Let's take one of them because that would be fun. And we'll take you. Deploy. So I'm going to actually just skip this forward so we can get into the... What we'll do is I'll skip the actual video ahead a bit so you guys can, once we're in the actual gameplay... Alright guys, we are here, and there's some a very much a range of units that we're having to fight here. We've got a flayed one, we have a cryptic, we have a lynch guard, and a praetorian. So, uh, we have a range of units here, so we're going to just kind of like get them all out and down. I'm going to put you there, and you there. I'm going to put you next to that, and I'm going to put you that way. Alright, let's start a battle, and let's see what is going to happen. You are a uh, turn first of all, okay. What's that? The target has a 75 chance to miss. Uh, collects condition point, performs a Lee attack. Let's go say hi. Alright, so you have that. What happens if I do this to you? Wait a minute. What? Right. Unit can, can't suffer a uh, opportunity attacks. Ah, okay. And up here, we'll get that. What? What? Really? Went all the way over there to him. Ow. Oh dear, hello. You seem totally friendly. Alright, what we want to do is we want to try and get their health revealed. There we go, that's that done. Now, 
Oh, it does damage as well now. Okay, so reveals target's information. Target the north. Should have used that before, although we can just use this one. Down you go. Turn and it was your turn. I feel like you should go this way. We can use this on that. Oh, very nice. He's like some sort of heavy sort of unit thing going on here. Very, very nicely done, actually. Just gonna, uh, I'm gonna end the turn there. We are going to come down into here with you. You get these two ready to go at any point. So you can click click them at any or use heals for five points. Uh, let's use that on you. So you're a little bit damaged, it seems. Good turn. That's back up. Wonderful. I didn't want that to be back up, but it is. So choose between tech priest damage and tough uh increases tech priest damage plus two. Right. Uh increases tech priest by four until their next attack. Increase their energy armor. Increase well, this one. Oh, it does it for everybody. Oh okay. Doesn't look like we can use that one because it actually costs points to use. So, this one it is. Bye bye. Send that over there. Grab the point. Hey hey. Alright, end of turn. New round. We get a reinforcement phase after this one. The immortal. Where the hell did you come from? All oh, the goodies. Alright, so we're gonna get this now. Alright. Let's see what you're like. Can we put you down? No, you can only... Right. I think we should go over here. And beat you up. Damage it. Ow. Okay. Sure. Damage absorbed again? Oh dear. Okay. That's uh, nice to know. You do not die very easily. Run away! <laughs> can use that on you though. Alright. Just gonna end our turn there. Gonna leave you there. So you just delete just units turn, deleting a unit's turn will then move the unit to the end of the initiative initiative the queue. You cannot delay a unit's turn more than once. But we do get to use this big guy. And I feel like we should. Holy hell! Sh sure. How you doing there? I'm doing Defensive Protocol gives an opportunity attack when enemies are in range. I'm going to get rid of them. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it there for just now because the video is a little bit longer about the type of game. Well, that is what happens. But thank you so very much for watching this smash look at Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. You can find the Steam link down below. I will leave it down there. And if you enjoyed what you see in Smash Game, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Come back for more. See you all next time.